A few officers diverting from their orders and no blame on Sudan's military junta. That was the core of the report from the investigation committee set up by the military to look into what happened on June 3rd when security forces attacked a pro-democracy sit-in at army headquarters in Khartoum. One of the brigadiers was warned that he's not responsible for the operation, yet he disobeyed orders and led the rapid support forces into the sit-in area and handed down orders for them to get out of their armored vehicles and force the protesters out. It's also established that the riot forces led by one of the colonels, he alone with his forces moved into the sit-in area and some personnel started battling protesters, firing indiscriminately. The attack killed at least 100 protesters and injured over 400 others, according to the Central Committee for Sudan's Doctors, which supports the protest movement. The raid was live-streamed by protesters as they ran for their lives and widely circulated on social media when the internet, which was cut off on the day of the attack, was restored more than a month later. The investigating committee disputed the number of fatalities, saying 87 were killed and 168 were wounded. The attack halted talks between the military junta and the opposition coalition known as the Forces for Freedom and Change, which represents the protest movement. Talks resumed a month later, as protesters continued to demand accountability and an initial power-sharing agreement was signed earlier this month. The Sudanese Professionals Association, part of the opposition coalition and the body which has been leading the cause for protests since December, insists the committee was not independent, but says it should not affect the talks to form a transitional government. Hours after the report was released, people protested against its findings. I don't believe what happened today undermines the political process unless the military council looks for excuses to freeze negotiations or procrastinate the process. What happened today is a natural response. Let the military council see this is a strong message that the people cannot remain silent as the investigation commission was formed not to establish the truth, but to conceal the truth. As the two sides continue to try to form a transitional government, protesters on the streets continue their demand for justice. But some analysts believe the investigation report could end up obstructing that justice. From the justice uh, perspective, uh, there, is, there need to be an independent report. Uh, and I think uh, the problem is that most of the information about this is mostly with the military. True, there are witnesses. Uh, the, the victims who have been attacked, they, this, has been, this went on for hours. The June 3rd attack was the most violent since the start of the protests in December. Many say that the justice and accountability they demand cannot be achieved without a civilian government and a change in the system, the reason why they started the revolution in the first place. Hiba Morgan, Al Jazeera, Addis Ababa, Ethiopia.